so this past week was uh, a little exhausting. I shot and edited the whole Craven video, I shot part of and edited all of the Wonder Woman video, I shot a whole other video that's gonna come out in a couple weeks, so right now I just wanna slow things down a little bit. See, the hardest thing about making weekly YouTube videos is finding time to work on longer projects that don't have an immediate deadline, and for the past year, I've been wanting to make this short film that's like bigger than a regular like YouTube short film, and late last year I actually wrote a draft of the script. It wasn't great, but it was a draft, but then the weekly YouTube videos took off and consumed my life. But I still want to get back to this, and I still want to make this within hopefully the next few months. And so right now, my goal for this next week, what I'm making this whole week's video about, is just finishing the script, doing new drafts of it, and getting it ready to shoot. And also, to get me inspired, I'm gonna go see a bunch of movies. Last night, I saw Walter Hill's The Driver at BAM. It's part of this heist movie series that Edgar Wright curated there. The movie rules, by the way. I started by reading through the draft that I wrote last year, and I realized that I could keep the first six pages and the last two. All of those were really pretty solid. And the other 11, I could just scrap and get rid of, and I knew I wanted to radically alter the story there anyway. So once I figured that out, the goal became figuring out what to do with the second half of the story, since the last two pages are basically just a little epilogue. And this could go in a million different ways. I had a few kind of vague ideas about directions I could take it, but I did not know exactly how I wanted the story to end up or what the, the climax of the whole thing would be. Guys, I'm really excited about Spider-Man. So after writing for a while, it was time to go see Okja at the Lincoln Center Film Society. I could have just seen it on Netflix, but look, it's a new Bong Joon-ho movie. He's one of my favorite directors, and I wanted to see that on the big screen. <laughs> So then I walked three blocks to the David Rubenstein Atrium, one of my favorite writing spots in the city, to just keep on writing. Okay, so Okja was fantastic. Just a, a really great movie. Actually, maybe after Baby Driver, my favorite movie of the year so far. And I got a, a pretty solid amount of writing done, uh, or at least if not actual scripting, like just progress with writing stuff. So I think tonight is a really good night now. I've earned it to eat Chinese food, drink wine, and catch up on like five episodes of Doctor Who. Okay, making a quick run over to the UPS store to pick up a package with some props for, for an upcoming video. And uh, the goal for today is basically to just get on paper, even if it's really shitty, just like a, a new draft. Uh, it'll be bad. But um, if I can get that done today, I think over the next like three or four days, I should be able to like turn it into something Passable. First of all, The Big Sick is great. Like, really, really great and really wonderful. And I feel like I've been saying that about a lot of movies, but the truth is that uh, in the past week, I've seen Baby Driver, Okja, and The Big Sick, and they might be my three favorite movies of the year so far. I have not yet finished um, a draft of the, the short script. I did uh, make adjustments to the first six pages, and I added on a couple more pages, and I also wrote four pages on a an upcoming short, like a, like a regular YouTube video. Short films are weird. I, I've always had a tough time with short films. Even those of us who watch a ton of movies, as as I do, we don't really watch short films. And so the structure of a short is is kind of just something that we're not really, or at least personally, I'm not used to. And um, like, how much character development do you put in in a short film? How do you tell a story in, in 15 minutes? We're so used to how a story should feel in, you know, 90 minutes to two hours. I still have these questions like, you know, how much should I flesh out the, the main character? Should there be an arc in uh, in like 15 minutes? I honestly don't love the short film format. I love the, the YouTube video format because that's a really loose term where it can be kind of anything. And I feel like with those, there's more freedom. Like I'll make basically short films for YouTube, but for some reason it being a YouTube video, I feel more freedom to just, to experiment or do weird things with it. And, and short films, they're like this 
frustrating necessity. It's like you, you've got to have a short as like a calling card or to to get attention for things or to get funding for a feature, but no one watches short films, even though I don't really know what a short film should be. If I can make something that still, that, that I like, that happens to be short, then I, I guess I'll have succeeded. So because writing is like a miserable, agonizing experience, right now I'm working on kind of a reward system. So I'm trying to catch up on the latest season of Doctor Who, which ended last night, and everyone seems to be really psyched about the finale. And so I am, I just watched episode 10, and now I'm going to try to knock out the rest of the script, and if I do, then I get to watch episode 11. Okay, so it's 11.33, and I powered through and got the draft done. It is uh, 17 pages long. I was hoping for like 15, I'm still hoping for 15, but um, let's see there, it all is... That was, it was about nine, nine pages or so. And um, I think it's better than the previous draft. Um, there's still aspects I'm, I'm unsure about. I think it might uh, get too, too action-y and lose some of the like emotional character stuff. And I think that I could potentially integrate the two a bit better. And um, there is a nice, like, I think I can see a nice emotional thread in there, and um, that kind of gets a little buried under other stuff. But um, but that is for uh, for the next draft, and that's for me to worry about tomorrow. Okay, so today I have gone for a run, had two Skype meetings, done laundry, and now it's time to just do several hours of writing. I want to polish up that draft that I did yesterday, and I know I want to add a little scene to it, I think a flashback somewhere like uh, near the end. And then tonight, because it is 4th of July weekend, I'm going to the Alamo Draft House to see Jaws, because that's what you do. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm like always on a roof in these things, it's just because this looks way better than my apartment. Happy 4th of July. So last night, uh, right before I went to bed, I, I read through the new draft of the short film script, and a lot of it I think is good. Um, I think it's also anticlimactic. The whole thing is pretty much this like escalating action through the whole thing, and then and I just don't think the climax like really, you know, is as, as exciting and satisfying as I would like it to be. And um, so I'm gonna work on that today before I go to a 4th of July party this evening. But for right now, since I, I much prefer doing this vlogging stuff on the roof than like inside, and um, and there's this whole wind noise problem, um, I'm finally going to do what I should have done a long time ago and run down to B&H, my favorite store in the city, and pick up some little like mini windscreens for this uh, RX100 that I'm shooting this on. Also, making this video has given me a whole new level of respect for vloggers because I am not a person who is equipped to vlog in public. I, the idea of, of talking to a camera while there are people around looking at me brings me such shame and I can't, I just can't do it. The Casey Neistats of the world can just whip out a camera in the middle of a park while people are staring at them and they just don't give a shit. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Okay, so first of all, I now have the little wind screens on the camera, so hopefully wind noise will no longer be an issue. I'm gonna take a picture of that right now. I was just working for several hours on the short film script, 
because I was realizing that I was I'm still stuck on like what I want the climax to be like how I, I want this whole thing to culminate and I had this realization that while I I'm aware of like general themes and ideas that I, I wanted to sort of explore with this thing I don't have as screenwriting teacher Robert McKee would call it a controlling idea basically for the past couple hours I've just been writing notes and trying to figure out what the exact what the what the short film is saying like what the main point of the whole thing is because once I figure out that point then I know that will kind of there's motorcycles down there. Once I figure out that point, everything will kind of feed into that, and that will dictate all the choices throughout the rest of the story. But in a minute, I'm heading down to Brooklyn to a 4th of July party. I'm gonna spend like 50 minutes at least on the subway, and so I'm just gonna take that time to just think about this, just focus on it, and hopefully, you know, either on the ride there or on the ride back, I'll have a realization or make some breakthrough. You know, I've said this before in the video, but um, writing is miserable. Back from the party, and on the way there, on this like hour-long train ride, I did have like a, a realization about a, um, a direction to take the climax that connects to the emotional through line a little uh, just, just better than it had. Time to write this thing and check the notes that I wrote on my phone, uh, on the train. Okay, I got it done, the new ending. I mean, I wrote like an extra page. Even if there's still some work to be done earlier on, I think it's, it's uh, more motivated and more exciting and more emotionally fulfilling than what came before. Also, I feel like you know, kind of an asshole saying all these things because I don't know if it's actually any good. This is uh, now another new draft. Um, it's better, I think. And um, I've got a, a four hour train ride in the morning. And so I'll, uh, I'll reread it on there. Okay, I'm officially here in Saratoga at my parents' house. I'm here for like, five days, and today, maybe it might go into tomorrow, I'm going to finish this script. And um, on the train ride up, I basically just thought through the whole story, just like ran through my mind as if I was like telling it to somebody, and I think it makes sense. I think there's like an emotional through line now. I think the climax works. It helps me a lot when I can actually edit like a physical copy and write on the pages. So I like to print it out uh, whenever I finish a draft and then do the edits there. It's just barely 18 pages. I've got this thing. I'm going to read it and see what I need to fix because today this thing is going to be done. Okay, I, uh, I finished reading the new draft and um, I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, I realized there's like, a, you know, a, some stuff that I can just like chop out to clean it up, maybe knock off. I think an entire page. Um, there's a, I think I'm gonna sneak in a couple, like alter a couple little lines of dialogue to sort of like tee up the climactic scene a bit more, but um, I think it works. So let's make these final edits and get this thing done. Okay. That's it. 16 pages exactly. Um, it, it's large, like like at least half rewritten from the draft last year. Three pages shorter than the draft la last year. Significantly better than the draft from last year. This is now in a shape where it's ready to to send to some of like uh to like the people that I trust to uh to read it. Give me feedback. Tell me what sucks about it and start actually moving forward and thinking about how I'm going to make this in the next few months. 
I got this done, finally. Um, sorry that I devoted an entire video to just my, you know, writing ordeals. Uh, I, I realize it's not as exciting as, like, a video essay or, or like, you know, uh, a narrative short or anything like that, but look, making this video about this thing was the only way I knew I was going to be able to get it done, and I got it done. It's Thursday, it's 1.48 p.m., time to now edit this video and put it uh, online, and then also I have to get back to writing some other videos and pitches and stuff. But anyway, this is done. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to help us make more of these videos that are not like this one, check out the Patreon. If you want to yell at me about stuff or get updates on what we're working on, follow me on all those social media links that are going to be right there. And I'll see you next Wednesday.